Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and in today's video, I'm going to show you five different ways to tie a scarf. The weather has officially turned and that means it's time to pull your winter accessories out of storage and into your closet. Uh, this is one of my favorite times of the year. I get to pull out my heavier weight cloths, my tweeds, my flannels. I even have a corduroy suit that I had made uh, last year. Uh, and these are the beautiful kind of heavier weight fabrics that we associate with colder weather uh, and that I love wearing. Now, in addition to the heavier weight cloths, there also are a lot of great winter accessories for colder weather, such as scarves, gloves, hats, woolen cashmere socks, uh, and so much more. Uh, now, this video is dedicated to how to tie a scarf, and I'm going to show you five different ways to tie a scarf. Now, we've got an incredible collection of sovereign grade scarves available online at kirbyallison.com, and of course, it's one of the best ways to support this channel. Uh, all of our scarves are made for us exclusively in the United Kingdom from 100% English silk. Uh, I've got one of our London Dot scarves on right now, but we also have a great collection of Ancient Matter scarves, uh, which are exceptionally rare. You don't find them very often. Uh, and they're absolutely beautiful. Of course, Ancient Matter, because of the way that the silk is dyed, has a chalky hand to it uh, that is just so different than traditional silk. Uh, and they are amongst my favorite scarves. So make sure you visit kirbyallison.com if you're looking for a new scarf for this winter. And now, in this video, I'm gonna show you five different ways to tie a scarf, starting with kind of the easiest, moving on to more difficult. Now, uh, one way to, I guess, wear a scarf would be just simply over your neck. Now, I'm not gonna count this as one of the five because in my opinion, this really doesn't count. Uh, at this point, you're just wearing your scarf as an accessory. It's not actually providing any warmth to the neck. Now, what is great about a scarf, of course, is that if you're out in the cold weather, you have a hat on, you've got an overcoat on, you've got your gloves, you still need something to wrap around the neck to keep warm. Uh, and this is where a nice scarf is very important. So simply draping a scarf over your neck isn't going to do very much. Uh, now the first and probably easiest way uh, to tie a scarf is to simply just take this scarf and then loop it over the neck, right? This gives you a little bit of coverage, right? You know, you can make this a little bit more complicated by bringing the ends through the front, right? And then one kind of through the back right? And that allows you to kind of cinch this up on your neck. Now you've got an overcoat on, it's going to be providing kind of nice protection. Uh, and so this is, you know, the first way to tie a scarf. Second is a simply a knot, right? So again, drape it over your neck, take this, the long end, take it over the front and then up through the back. And if this kind of reminds me in some ways of an ascot. You can kind of play around with the front, right? And uh, there you go. So again, it's a little bit more secure, right? It's not going to loosen and thereby expose the neck. Uh, and you know, you can play around with this front just like this. So again, kind of drape it around. You can show different elements uh, of the scarf pattern. Uh, and this is the second way to tie a scarf. The third way to tie a scarf is something called the Parisian knot. Again, this is very simple. You simply fold your scarf in half, right? You take it over the neck, and then you pull the ends through. Again, what I like about this is that it's very secure. You don't have to worry about the scarf falling down on your neck and exposing your skin. Uh, and it is effectively doubling up the scarf. So if it's a really cold and windy day, uh, this is an absolutely great way to accessorize your scarf. It also produces shorter ends uh, which are nice. You don't have to worry about them hanging down too low. I think that if you're wearing uh, an overcoat or a short jacket, you really don't want your scarf hanging out um, beneath uh, the bottom of the jacket. So that is something to pay attention to. All right, next we have something called the fake knot. So this one, you want the lengths of the scarf to be relatively the same. You're going to do a simple loop and then you're gonna take the end of the scarf through that loop on the one end. So we still have this loop right here. And then on the other uh, end of the scarf, we're going to bring this through. Right. So you can kind of play around with this. 
terms of equalizing the length. But once you get that done, simply pull this up and you end up with a nice kind of fake knot. And again, it's tied around the neck uh, and you have to worry about it coming undone, which is nice. The last one we have, which is probably the most complicated knot, uh, but is quite sophisticated. This one is a little bit more difficult. So on this knot, you're gonna have one end of the scarf much longer than the other. The way that you wanna think about this is after it's tied, you want the short end of the scarf kind of really where you would otherwise want it once the knot is finished. And for that, this is kind of right here in the mid chest, okay? So I've got my right hand, I'm gonna grab the left side of the scarf and then I'm going to bring it over the neck, right? And then with my left hand, I'm gonna grab both sides, uh, uh, both ends of the scarf I've got my left hand right here, and then I'm gonna grab both ends with my left hand. I'm gonna pull it through, and then with my right hand, I'm gonna kind of twist that. So there you go. Nice kind of figure eight. And again, it's a nice knot, covers the neck, full coverage, and you don't have to worry about it coming undone. Okay, so let's do that one again. So there we have it, that's five different ways to tie a scarf. Uh, as you uh, see, you can make it as easy or as complicated as you want, uh, but it doesn't have to be that difficult. With a little bit of practice, uh, it's easy to tie up a scarf to ensure that you're getting good coverage around your neck, that you're gonna remain warm and cold, windy weather, uh, and most importantly, you're gonna look good. So a little bit of effort here with the right knot and a great scarf really can go a long way. Of course, I'm Kirby Allison, and this scarf and more are available online at kirbyallison.com, where you'll find the largest collection of luxury garment care and luxury shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other great clothing accessories, like this scarf, sovereign grade necktie that I was wearing, pocket squares, braces, socks, and so much more. Uh, take a moment to visit kirbyallison.com. Of course, it's the best way to support the content on this channel. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching.